impression are you planning to give me? Why are you standing there looking at me as if you've never been to a hotel room before? That is not the point, sir, and you know it. Really? Maybe you have to educate me on what the point is. Because I don't understand why I brought in the big girl. A supposed big girl into my hotel room and she's standing there looking around like, as if she's a scent. Sir, have you forgotten I was referred to you by your wife? She did because she believes I would make a wonderful actor. Why are you doing this? Why the cost of the sentiments of bringing my wife into this picture? My wife is at home as we speak and we are here. Listen to me, Jessica. I am not one of those men you're working with sentiments. Because when I make up my mind to get anything, oh my goodness, I must get it. Sir, you are not just a director. You're one of the most respected directors we have. Many people like the way you direct your films. That's actually my attraction. And that's why I approached your wife for help. Please, sir, help me with this. Please. Listen, you attended the audition. You saw the number of guests out there that are looking for the same role. I brought you in here because somehow I have made up my mind you are the one that will play the lead role. I don't understand it. How else am I going to help a woman in this business, in this our business that is free? It's all about ecstatics. Oh, come out clear and say plainly, so we don't waste so much time beating about the bush. Really? You want to have sex with me before you do anything. And what me. is wrong with that if I may ask you? This is my road that I want to give you on a platter of gold. So what are you saying? Do what you have to do and let me do what you know I can do. Let me tell you something. I will lead you to play that lead role. But first, you must have to lead me into the woman in you. Oh my God! Does that mean the rubbish they keep talking about you people in the entertainment business is true after all? Listen to me, you have already qualified what you heard as rubbish. And I am not going to stand here discussing rubbish. I am a serious minded businessman. And I'm pleading with you to allow us to start this business in a beautiful business atmosphere. Where is the business atmosphere? Here. In a hotel room? Oh, come on, sir. You are more than this. I am a talented artist. And I can listen to me. There is no doubt you are a talented artist. No doubt. But let me tell you something you don't know. That your talent is going to die with you if you refuse to break loose from this your self-constructed cocoon of pseudo responsibility and play. I should play? Yes. Play with who? With the same man that already brought you into a hotel. The same man that shared the audition you attended. The same man that already promised you to give you the lead role. Don't even look at me as if I'm just trying to witch hunt you because it happens everywhere. It happens in the army. It happens in the police. It happens in the banking industry. It happens in the civil service. And let me tell you, strangely, it happens even in the church. Oh yeah, a woman must have to do something. Men that are in positions of significant command of her environment and I want you to tap into that reality. Oh, this is my wife calling. You are the most amazing woman that God gave me. You know, each time I remember I have a wife like you, I feel so excited. <laughs> I'm not flattering. Anyway, I'm fine. What were you? Yes, I am good. I've just finished the audition and I'm, I'm having a meeting with my crew members. Oh, so how did it go? Oh, excellent. You know, most times when we call for auditions in this country, I pity the casting director because they 
they will not know who they will pick. Because practically everybody in this country is an actor. Funny, but true. I mean, I see them everywhere and every day. Okay, I actually called you to wish you success, okay? I hope I'll see you soon. Is this not why I say you are an amazing woman? Thank you so much for calling my sweetheart. I love you so much and I will be with you soon. Okay. Bye. You know, that's my wife that God gave me. You know her. She's an amazing woman. Now, can you just come and sit down here and order something to drink? Stop behaving like a virgin because I know you are not one, please. Excuse me. Sit down. Just look at me. Take a good look at me, Rita. Can you compare me with that thing he took with him? Why am I this unlucky? Sandra, just... I don't get it. Why would you call yourself unlucky? Because he didn't ask you to get into his car? You're not getting it right. What? That thing he took with him will so give him what he wants. That he will forget that useless paper he shortlisted our names and give her the lead we all auditioned for. And are you going to be bothered? Like seriously? Listen to me, Sandra. This is casting couch. Yeah, a despicable act of actors in a film. Many girls like us going to sleep with casting directors just to get roles. I mean, it is appalling. Extremely despicable and contemptible. I am not going to be part of it. Really? Yeah. Why did I choose someone like you as a friend? Can you remind me? <laughs> you're not ready for casting couch. All right. Let's see how you're going to land a lead role in this industry or anywhere in the country. Please wake up. Oh, wait, hold on. Are you indirectly trying to tell me that if he had asked you to come into the car, you would have gone ahead to let him into the woman in you? I am not indirectly saying it. Oh. I am directly hitting it to you, Rita. If I were the one he took with him, I would be with him wherever he is right now, banging his brains out. But Sandra, just, just shut up. What is wrong with you? Where is your morality? Where is your decency? Where is your virtue as a woman? Where is your professional ethics as one that passed through lecturers that thought you the rudiments of a thespian? Where are they? Listen, what they taught you in school will be very useless if you're not ready to blend in into the world of today. You can lock yourself up for all I care. Let me see how you land a lead role in this industry. Oh my dear, your thoughts and your belief, they don't apply to me. What does she have that I don't have? Why will he go and choose that over me? Do you know why I decided to sit? So you don't conclude with them and possibly call all your colleagues in the director's guild and ruin my chances with all of them. Come on, Jessica, I don't know why you were sitting like that. Why in this world would I call people to ruin your chances with them? I'm not a sadist. Listen to me, my dear. I was trained in Las Vegas. And as the same goes, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Do you actually mean to tell me that you won't allow me to play the lead role unless I sleep with you? Hey, you know, the way you are sounding, the way you are going about this, makes me wonder if there is any big deal in what I'm asking you to do. Come on! This is you. And this is me. I have my condom in my pocket. And this is a well-made bed waiting for us. Sincerely speaking, my dear Jessica, I believe we should be busy doing something right on this bed. Why are we sitting down here you are there behaving like a nun and you want to make me a mom or something? You know what? I am not going to force you into anything because that is against the code of conduct of the gentlemen of the art world. We do not force women 
in the world. But women, babes like you, babes that know what they want, babes that actually want what they want, they give it to us freely. So are you? But you can't be thinking of me, sir. I know your wife. And so what? And she was the one that directed me to your audition. And what about that? My wife directed you to me because my wife knows me. She knows the kind of people I use in my films. In fact, she knows I use only the best. And how are you going to explain what you are doing now? You want to take advantage of me before you allow me to play the part. In all sense of responsibility, can you still call that using the best? You know what? I may have to educate you on something you don't know. After the general audition comes the main audition. What you attended out there at the gallery, that is general audition. And as far as I'm concerned, that is nonsense. This is where all the babes, all the serious minded babes, this is where they get all the rules. And let me tell you something, I am ready for you. Are you ready now? <coughs> Dr. Jacques can hear speaking. Who is this player? Oh, every director. Your voice is so unique. People keep saying that, and I keep wondering how unique the voice is. Who am I talking with, please? Um, my name is Sandra, the girl that was wearing a black dress at the audition today. The one you gave your bottle of water when she coughed out of tension. I told you I graduated from Marriott University and did my diploma in acting at Casco College. I remember the fair girl, right? I remember you now. And that, you know, it's amazing that you are calling me this minute. Because with this your phone call, you are the one that will play that little role. Oh my god, are you serious? I am a serious-minded businessman, my dear. I am the one that is creating these roles. And I am the one that knows the people that will play the roles. Judging from the voice I'm hearing now, and this is your phone call that came timely. You are playing that in the role. But everything will depend on how you acknowledge the offer. I know exactly how to acknowledge this offer. Just tell me where you are, and I'll be there right now. Oh my goodness. This babe that is calling my phone now is an amazing babe and she's the one that will play that lead role. Do you know what my dear? After this phone call, I will send you a text message to direct you where you are going to meet me now. Okay. Yes. Thank God I need this call. <laughs> <clears throat> Looking at you, I am seeing a confused girl. Why are you calling people that will not help you? Eh? You are calling people that will confuse you the more. Are you talking to me? My name is Erika. I am talking to myself. Confused girl in a confused state. Later, you, you will start complaining that we are not getting married to you people. Who should we marry? P -p -p people like you. Are we mad? I'm looking for a faithful girl. What? Please, what? This, 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 uh, please this, get this, 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 Oh my god! So because you finally found someone who is so willing to jump into your bed already, you are asking me to leave, yeah? Do I still have any reason to keep you here? When you have already made it clear to me in clear language that you are an aspiring Mother Teresa, why didn't you beam your very useless satellite towards the convent where they pray and cry? Why were you looking at the entertainment industry 
We assess and know that are the things we celebrate. Why? Why? You celebrate sex and nudity. What does that mean? Okay. It means we are precious. We read the Bible every now and then. And then we recite the Quran every hour. Idiot. Pick up this like out of this place! Mother Teresa, go to the convent. Enroll the ring and begin to pray. Begin to cry there. What were you thinking coming to the entertainment world? Idiot. You see, don't capitalize on the name to think I'm slim. Okay? You just call me a slim man. It is just a mortal. You understand? Hey, hey, I, I may look slim physically. But my property is equal to anything. Okay? I know what you are here. You are here to try it out. Let's go with this. Margaret, I am not here for all that. Really? Yes, I am not. So, why are you here? I am here to ask you some personal questions about your boss. So, who did you call my boss? To Ebudi, of course. Dr. Jackson, are you not his production manager? Well, Rita, um, Dr. Jackson is not my boss. Okay, I'm a professional. A freelance production manager that I've been working for people. Mm -hmm. Alright? I have even worked for, for some American producers that came here to film here. Mm -hmm. Yes, he even contracted me to manage his coming production for him. But if you work for him, you should be able to know a little bit about him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the way he does his casting, he's a good person. Does he usually do this? The right question is why would any right thinking director, a producer, or even a production manager like me, Give a little role to someone who has not allowed anyone to worship in her place. What? Wait. You do this too? Please, please don't take it personal for I'm not the one that started it. Okay? It did it, it, it just the same everywhere. Even those people that came from America did it too, and I confirmed. I found out that it is a general practice all over the world. Okay? So if you really want a little role, then lead. Credible worshippers into your temple. Credible worshippers. Underline the word. Credible worshippers, not any idiot. You know what? Very, very sick. Hey, hey, say, say, yes, listen, Rita. Rita, or whatever you call your name, you are the one that is very sick. That's what you think you've done. No, 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 no. Just continue to, 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 to move about acting nonsense. I'm so surprised you don't know what your husband does. He took me to a hotel after the audition and said he would give me the lead role, but that I must sleep with him. Really? He actually said that to you? I swear on my life, ma. He confirmed to me that that is how they do it. That I will never get any lead role to play unless I do what he wants. You have been so good to me, ma. And I said to myself that I have a duty to inform you about what your husband is doing. I can't imagine myself doing anything with your husband. I can't. But I just called him and he said he's having a meeting with his crew members. He lied to you, ma. I was with him when you called. He's not in any meeting. In fact, he's in the same hotel room as we speak, with one useless girl that's agreed to do what he wants. What's that stupid man? Room 302. If you go there now, you will see them. You will. Let me be very honest with you, sir. I want to be a star. And I'm going to do anything it takes to achieve that dream. Hope I did well. 
<laughs> Hope you're going to make me a star. You know, when they call me Dr. Jackson, it is not a nickname. I actually have a PhD in logic and exoteric philosophy. I don't make empty promises to people. And based on that, I will tell you right away that I cannot make you a star because God himself is the one that makes people stars. I agree with you on that, sir. But you know, God cannot come from heaven to make one a star. It's people like you who will create the roles and give out to people like us. Then God can bless us from there. You know, I, 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 I like the way you talk. You are such an amazing beauty. Beautiful in the beauty outwards and living beauty the way you talk. Mm. Oh my goodness. You know, you acknowledge the fact that we are the ones that create these roles and we are the ones that distribute the roles. You know, because of this wonderful thing you just said now, I am promising you that you are going to be in four straight films. Uh, you are playing four straight lead roles. Let me see how you are not oh going to become God. a star. Oh my God. serious? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Listen, my wife, don't say the word. The beautiful woman that God gave me to console me. I am so happy hearing your voice again. How are you now? You know, I have every reason to be very angry or mad at you right now. But I would not. What happened? I won't even bother to ask you where you are. Because you may lie to me. And I don't want my husband to ever lie. Come on, Juliet. Why are you sounding this way? Jackson. You are in Franz View Hotel, room 302, with a girl you want to give the lead role, right? Who have you been listening to? <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I would have fallen into her trap, like other women. I would rush to that hotel just to catch you red-handed, but I will not. Do you know why? Because I am above that. Hmm? So while you're there insulting yourself, not me, be careful of women, of women like Jessica, because they can... Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. So this is all about Jessica. Are you telling me that idiot... ...was here. And she told me how you took her to a hotel. How you demanded for sex before you can give her the role. How she refused... And then you kicked her out and brought in another girl. <laughs> Listen, I will not even ask you not to leave the useless life you have chosen to live. But be careful of the kind of women you bring close to you because some of them can be very dangerous. While you're there, hmm? enjoy yourself. I don't believe you just did what you did. You mean your husband is in a hotel with a girl as we speak and you're calling him on phone? You're taking chances. Why don't you just go there? <laughs> My dear, every woman should get to a point in her life where wisdom speaks through her. Let his conscience judge him. Yes, let his conscience judge him. That useless girl is equally evil. Why would she want to ruin my marriage? Why? What happened, sir? Why are you looking a wreck? I married a saint. God gave me a saint as a wife. Why am I fooling around? Why? You're fooling around? I don't understand what you mean by that, sir. Do 
Did you order for anything? No. Who is there? Room service. I brought the beer you asked for, sir. God will punish you and punish beer. Listen to me, if I should come out there and you are still standing there with whatever you call beer, I will show you something that is mightier than the refinery. Idiot. Now leave that door. Moses. What am I going to tell my wife? W what? You're getting me confused, sir. Is there a problem? I promised you the lead role. The promise stands. You will play the lead role. I will get Fred to call you and tell you when we are starting to shoot. I must leave now. If you like, you may sleep here. Whatever action you decide to take against me is justified. I am sorry for what happened and that is why I got you this surprise gift to say that I'm sorry. I don't know what I was doing. I'm not going to provoke you by telling you that it didn't happen. But I kneel in humility and repentance to tell you that it will not happen again. His actions were not right, and you need to know what he does. On the contrary, I see you as an enemy. What are you? How am I an enemy? You know very well that the information you brought here can destroy my home. Yet you came here with it. You know what? Once you leave this house, don't even think of coming back. I'm sorry, ma. It's Jessica, ma. I am not angry. But I'm very disappointed. A lot of women out there are waiting for me to make one mistake so they can watch my marriage crumble. And from what you just did, I think you are one of them. Sincerely speaking, man, you are misunderstanding me. Leave my presence. Make sure you delete my number from your phone. Now out. Out. know that what you're doing is against the code of conduct of the director's guild. Filmmaking is a noble profession and that is why I married a filmmaker. So why are you bringing a noble profession to ridicule? Why? changed me because you are a wife. Cecilia, I don't know what I was doing. Please, find a reason to forgive me. I'm sorry. 
from today, nobility shall be my watchword. Please, Julia, please. Please. Please, my Don't kill your partner. Don't fight against your partner. Because of what you had. Because of mistake he made. Because of mistakes she made, anyone can make mistakes. Anyone can make mistakes. Marriage is a miracle. How far have you gone with the task I gave you? Hey, <laughs> I'm on it, sir. In fact, that is what I'm doing right now. Briefly, how are you going to go about it? Uh, you know everything now. You know everything. You have, you have already casted the lead rules. Uh, leave me with this small, small ones, uh, like we agreed now, you know. I will call the shortlisted people, one by one, and anyone that tells the stories will, will not get any role. You know how, how all these things work. Listen, Fred, I'm giving you a direct order here now. Do not engage further in those your own professional practices. Don't. Yeah. Sir, uh, it's, it's, hello, hello, sir. You are calling me by my name, sir. I, is there any problem, sir? Assign those roles to those that pass the audition. Do not call anyone to any private place for any private stupid discussion or negotiation or whatever. If you try it, I will find out. And you won't like the way I will handle it. Listen, Fred, it's a new dawn. And we must have to stick to professionalism. Is today a holiday or what? Too many things are happening already. Does it mean that Dr. Jackson has repented? <laughs> that would be a miracle. If he repents, then I will repent too. I am very, very happy with this phone call of yours, honestly. I mean, if we start getting it right now, then we're still on point. Hmm? Are you not the woman that made it possible, my love? <laughs> you are the wife um, that can change the husband. And you just changed me now. Later. Forever I am going to be indebted to you, my love. You are just the best. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Love you. as if you never knew I would give you the money. Oh, baby. Listen to me, my dear. I am impressed with the level of success you have recorded in the supermarket. And giving you the money is the only way I can invest in my wife. And let me tell you the truth. I shall continue to invest in you because you are all I have. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. You are the best. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. I love you. You are the best. I love you so much. Come here. I'm gonna see you, baby. Oh, baby.
doesn't know why you won't speak of call when someone's calling me. I was talking with my account officer on the other line. Quit complaining, Florence. I'm finally here. Okay. Guess what? Come on, talk to me. <laughs> my husband has surprised me. He just remitted the money into my account. I just can't spend a lot. <laughs> you mean the four million you asked him casually? Yes, my dear. I, are you not surprised? <laughs> My husband has given me the money. <laughs> anyway, that is why I'm calling you to ask for your direction. I want to start the business you mentioned last week. Okay, are you in the supermarket? No, I'm at home and I'm not going anywhere today. In that case, I'll meet you at home by noon. I'll come along with the paper so we can study it together. All right, no problem. I'll see you soon. It's okay. Bye. <laughs> Jeremiah, you're okay. Are you not the best husband in the whole wide world? <laughs> I love you. This is the kind of husband any woman should pray for. Ask for money, and the exact amount is in your account. Chief Mrs. Florence Okeke, enjoy your life. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I thought you said we are going to a hotel. I can't remember any hotel in this direction we are going. Are you afraid I might kidnap you or something? <laughs> you, Chief KK, <laughs> kidnap me? <laughs> that would be very romantic. Go ahead and kidnap me. <laughs> you know, you have this very romantic way you talk that I like so much. Right here. Don't bother yourself. I'm actually going to see my friend, the King of Obolo Kitty, for a brief meeting. And after that, I will take you to a hotel. Maybe we can enjoy ourselves something tomorrow. For real? Yeah. You're going to stay with me till tomorrow? Is there any big deal? Come on, don't, don't even say that. I told my wife actually I'm traveling to Abuja for a meeting. I'm just hoping nothing takes her to the airport because she won't see my car there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel very important right now. To take care of all people. He's beginning to tell some lies because of me. Come on, Sandra, don't twist <laughs> this. What are you saying? I've not that told anybody nice. any lies. No, I didn't tell lies. I just told her something nice for the air so that she will allow me to enjoy myself. <laughs> don't twist it. I call it a lie. <laughs> she will KK, I don't lie, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, it's all the same. <laughs> this business is very dear to my house. I want you to give it your best. Trust me, madam. The business is just as important to me. And I am not going to disappoint. Okay. My husband left for Abuja this morning. He'll be back tomorrow evening. Come back the day after tomorrow and he will sign his phone call you. Madam, you are the one I trust to make him sign. He's a grade one customer and we don't ever want to lose him. I just asked you to come back the day after tomorrow. He will sign. Hmm? Okay. He won't lose my day. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. I'll be back like you said. Right. <laughs> I have to take my leave now. You have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Alright. What if by the end of today, we did not get the exact kind of car he wants us to bring. It's very simple now. We shall go back to him and tell him that the street is dry. I mean, you should know that the country is in a recession right now. And what has recession got to do with the issue under discussion right now? Learn how to shut your hole if you have nothing to say. Wait, do you call my mouth a hole? I mean, do you call my mouth a hole? Hey, guys, behave yourselves. We are monitoring the road, remember? Do not start on it on stupid here.
what you need to do is set up another place strictly for the marketing of their products. I will personally speak with Chief Olaito that holds Nigerian franchise okay. to look into the possibility of making you the sole distributor in Anambra State. Are you serious? You do that for me? Why not, honey? You have a husband who is ready to support you financially. And I'm very sure Chief Olaito will love to do business with you. You can say that again. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> Honestly, you won't regret it. No, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is nice. This is so nice. Listen, if I tell my husband about this and ask him to give me more money to go into this, <laughs> and if possible, secure the sole distributorship in Alhambra State, he may give me up to 10 million naira. I see. Clara, I know the man I married. Jeremiah is the best in the whole wide world. He loves to see me happy. He wants me to be very successful. <laughs> I'm sure if I present this to him, he will give me the money. Hello, Amanda. How are you? Chief, this is okay. I am not fine. Really? What happened? How I wish. You're here right now as I'm speaking to you to see what I just saw. Amanda, stop this drama. What did you say? The men are so pathetic. Why are they so silly? Amanda, don't make me lose the respect I have for you. Is this call about men? Your husband, the almighty Chief Jeremiah O'Keefe. He's surely not what I thought he was. What? You know, there is something I said I, I will ask you. What is that? I woke up this morning and opened my wardrobe and I decided I'm, I, I'm going to wear red today. Then I came to pick you only for me to meet you wearing red. I don't understand what is going on. In fact, it's very confusing to me. What's confusing about that? Maybe our minds work together. And sincerely, I like it. <laughs> you like it? You know, Sandra, many women look at me and they say my face is, is scary. You are the only one who is not scared of my face. And I wonder where your boldness is coming from. <laughs> we are not here to talk to you. They're here for us. You don't need to say it, my dear, because <laughs> I know it. It's Sandra, baby. <laughs> please, I beg in the name of God. Step down from my car, please. Why? Because you are very wicked. Eh? How could you make that kind of call? Do you want to destroy that home? Oh, don't give me that crap. Why are you men so stupendously stupid? The man tells his wife he was traveling to Abuja and he's here with a girl young enough to be his daughter. Are you expecting to keep quiet? Are you out of your no, senses? No, 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 no. Is he here with your money? Eh? No, has he asked you to pay? 
My friend, get out of my car. Get out of my car and pay for all the routes that I have covered already and the time wasted. Please, before you see why why I was fired from the insurance company. You are insanely stupid. Okay, you will see the real stupidity if you don't pay me two thousand now and get out of my car. Ha. I think I'm joking. Give her four million naira. The same man that can do anything for her. Why is she like this? Hi. Good afternoon, madam. Welcome to Franzi Hotel. A phone away from home. How may I help you, ma'am? Chief Jeremiah Keke is lodged in this hotel. What is his room number? Are you not supposed to know? He's not ready for coming. Anyway, have this for your trouble. It won't cost you anything to tell me his room number. I just want to surprise him with a knock on his door. Where is madame? Easy, 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 easy. Madam. Madam, before you follow Madam, we followed you from the roundabout. Now can I have the car key so you can use the door is free. Guys, no match. It's possible you're calling me. 
want to apologize for your bad behavior earlier this afternoon. I don't want to hear it because you are insanely stupid. Amanda, do you know you are a fool? Instead of me to apologize to an idiot like you, I, I, I better apologize to a god. Because that god is ten times better than you. Are you mad? Do you want me to fall out with you in this town? Why are you calling this number, you fool? Ah, you're a fool, you're a fool, you're a fool forever. That innocent woman, Chief Mrs. Florence, okay, okay, the wife of Chief Jeremiah, okay, okay, that, 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 that you dragged to France View Hotel, but that useless call of yours has been raped by an armed gang. Have you not seen the news already spreading on the internet? What? Where did you get this useless rubbish news you're just telling me? They followed her when she was driving to the hotel. They impounded her with the car from the hotel reception and took her deep into the bush and spent better part of the afternoon raping her. The humble woman was later rescued by a good Nigerian. You see, Amanda, for that useless call you made, eh? I advise you to leave this town now for your own good. Because I'm going to use all the evil in me to ensure you suffer the same humiliation. The woman was, uh, was raped by a reported three robbers, but I'm going to make sure you are raped by ten. Idiot. Use that gossip. No sense. Oh my God. Who oh, this is true? Oh. Please, please don't forgive me. Oh! 